the prince had crafted a clever plan to find the bride he was searching for. Despite his obvious need for assistance, the village women consumed with the efforts to impress what they thought were the prince's desires for beauty and grace paid him no heed. Even Oluchi's sisters, who prided themselves on their charm and paws, walked past the old man without a second glance. Their eyes were fixed on a prize they believed lay in adornment and elegance, overlooking the simple act of kindness right before them. But not everyone in the village was blind to the plight of others. Oluchi, who had stepped out to escape the frenzy and find solace in her beloved gardens, spotted the old man from a distance. Her heart moved by the sight. She approached without hesitation. Let me help you, she said gently. Her voice is soothing balm. With a smile that reached her eyes, Oluchi took the heavy load from the old man, carrying it as if it were no burden at all. Together, they walked, Oluchi listening intently to the old man's stories, her laughter echoing through the streets. This act of kindness, simple yet profound, was observed by the prince in disguise. Amazed by Oluchi's genuine compassion, he saw in her the qualities he had been searching for. She had shown kindness without expectation of reward, compassion without the knowledge she was being tested. In Oluchi, the prince recognized not just the physical strength to carry the wood, but the strength of character, a heart rich in love and empathy. Oluchi's act of kindness was a quiet revolution in a village, caught up in the spectacle of impressing royalty. Unbeknownst to her, she had passed the prince's test with flying colors, her actions speaking louder than any word or adornment could. In that moment, without even realizing it, Oluchi had stepped closer to a destiny that would change her life forever. The day of the grand gathering arrived, with the village square adorned like never before. Everyone was abuzz with anticipation, eager to see which of the village's beauties would capture the prince's heart. The young women, including Oluchi's sisters, were radiant in their finest attire, each hoping to be chosen. The air was thick with excitement as the prince took the stage, his presence commanding silence. With all eyes on him, the prince began to speak. His voice, calm and clear, carried a weight that immediately captured the crowd's attention. My quest for a bride, he started, was not as it seemed. I sought not just a wife, but a soul of pure heart and kindness. To find her, I disguised myself as an old man, burdened with heavy firewood and observed. The crowd was turned into silence, the revelation dawning on them like the slow rise of the sun. Murmurs began to ripple through the assembled villagers as they realized the true nature of the test. The prince continued, of all the women in the village, only one stopped to help. Showing compassion and kindness, without knowing my true identity. The villagers turned their eyes to Oluchi, who stood in disbelief. The shock on the faces of her sisters and the other suitors was palpable. The perception of Oluchi shifted in that moment from being the subject of mockery to being the embodiment of the virtues the prince cherished most. The prince then turned to Oluchi, his gaze soft, yet filled with admiration. Princess Oluchi, he said, stepping down from the stage to stand before her. Your kindness and compassion have shown me that you are the one I have been searching for. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? 
the proposal so public and heartfelt silenced the crowd. Oluchi, overwhelmed by emotions, found herself at a loss for words. The journey from solitude to this moment of validation and love was almost too much to comprehend. Yet in the prince's eyes, she saw a future filled with the acceptance and affection she had always longed for. Yes, she finally whispered, her voice steadying as the word took flight. The square erupted into cheers, the villagers celebrating the unexpected turn of events. Oluchi's sisters embraced her, their earlier indifference replaced by pride and joy. The prince's proposal to Oluchi was a moment of profound transformation, not just for them but for the entire village. It was a testament to the power of kindness and the depth of true beauty. As the prince took Oluchi's hand, leading her through the crowd, the villagers saw not the fat princess they had mocked, but a woman of unparalleled grace and virtue, chosen to be a queen. The royal wedding between Princess Oluchi and the prince was a celebration that the village of Eket would remember for generations. The air was filled with the sweet aroma of fried plantains, jollof rice, bush meat, and a lot more. The vibrant colors of traditional attires and the melodious sounds of the talking drum and flute. It was a union that brought together not just two hearts, but two kingdoms, transforming the village's perception of love, beauty, and worth. As Oluchi walked down the aisles, her gown flowing gracefully within each step, the villagers looked on with admiration. The same people who had once whispered and mocked her now cheered and smiled, their eyes reflecting a newfound respect. Oluchi's sisters, beaming with pride, stood by her side, their earlier envy replaced by genuine joy for their sister's happiness. The prince waiting at the altar gazed at Oluchi with a love so profound it silenced the world around them. As they exchanged vows, promising to honor and cherish each other, the villagers witnessed the blossoming of love that transcended physical appearance, a love rooted in kindness, compassion, and understanding. In the days that follow, Oluchi found herself not just as a wife, but as a queen revered by all in her kingdom. Her kindness and warmth touched the hearts of her subjects and her compassion guided her role. She became a beacon of hope and a testament to the idea that true beauty lies within. The villagers, inspired by her story, began to see each other through a lens of empathy and understanding, valuing character and heart over superficial judgments. The moral of Oluchi's story resonated far beyond the village of a kid. It thought that the true essence of a person is not seen in the mirror, but in the acts of kindness, the moments of compassion and the depths of one's character. It reminded everyone that while beauty fades, the qualities of the heart endure, weaving a legacy of love that time cannot diminish. In celebrating Oluchi's journey, the village learned that every individual holds a unique beauty, one that deserves to be seen and celebrated. They understood that acceptance and love should not be conditional on societal standards, but should be freely given recognizing the inherent word of every soul. As the kingdom thrived under the rule of Oluchi and her prince, their story became a legend, a tale of love's triumph over prejudice and the transformative power of sin beyond the surface. It served as a timeless reminder that in the end it is not our outward appearance but the richness of our hearts and the purity of our actions that define us. Oluchi's tales from solitude to celebration, from scorn to reference,
thought that the greatest beauty one can possess is the kindness and love we share with the world. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful story. If you did, please show support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and turning the notification bell for future stories. Please tell us the country you are watching from in the comment section. Bye.